when you when you say Kim Stadler that e that I believe that Ea is Enoch, I I need to uh we need to draw a distinction here. I actually believe Enoch was Enki. That's not confusing. Hear me out. What we have in the historical record concerning Enki is at least 2,000 years older than any historical reference to Enoch. Enoch is very late in history. It is a Jewish version of ancient records they did not understand in Babylon. When the Jews were taken into captivity over 130 years after the ancient Israelite tribes, their enemies were taken by the Assyrians. The Assyrian Empire had fallen. The Israelite nations had started spreading out, and we know exactly who they became today. This is this this is this is I'm doing future videos videos on that, but it's uh the Jews who were the Israelites' enemies took many of their books and scrolls, and without without being able to defend the integrity of their scriptures, the Jews redacted and rewrote ancient Israelite, which were Hurrian Amorite scrolls. In, in, in biblical materials, and they rewrote these, and they put Jewish authors, Jewish prophets, and they, and they made up a lot of things. The Jews interpolated. This is what the scholars say. I'm, this isn't me talking. I have read the scholarly monographs. I have read so many different scholars. Very few. I'm talking about an extreme minority of biblical scholars or Christians. They don't believe because they know these things. They have read the redacted materials. They see the interpolations. They have studied deep on the text, and they see that the Jews spent a um, huge amount of time rewriting scriptures ex post facto. Prophetic texts that were written to make it look like that they were predicting things, but they actually wrote them 150 to 250 years after the events they describe. And then, and then they passed these, these texts off onto the people as being ancient. This is why in the Old Testament, Two different stories in the Old Testament, one during the days of Ezra and Nehemiah, one days, one during the days of uh, Josiah, I believe it was Josiah. Both times it says that the entire Old Testament record had been lost. The first time a copy had been found in the wall and the Jews brought it out to the people and, and oh, they had the Bible and everything was all right. But scholars say it's a fiction, it did not happen. It said it was a whole collection of books that the Jews had composed to pass off to the people that put them in a light as children of God, superior to all other races. Everybody must give tithes to them, the Jew first, Gentile last. Now, in the days of Ezra and Nehemiah, Nehemiah was a politician. Ezra was a priest. They got together. And it's even admitted in the Apocrypha. This is why the Apocryphal books are not in the Bible. The full story of how they rewrote the entire Old Testament during the days of Ezra is not unknown to scholarship. They all know about it. Do some Google, do some Googling on, on Ezra and Nehemiah and the writing of the Old Testament, and you will find they didn't rewrite anything. They composed it, and they did it using texts that were from the old Babylonian libraries. The Adamu were an ancient, ancient description in Babylon for a race of people who were wiped out by the phoenix, and there are many records of the Adamu. And I go into detail about this in my Phoenix videos and maybe even some of my Anuna files. But the Jews didn't understand that. And they turned Adamu into Adam. And they gave him a wife, Kava. Kava, you know, of his Eve. And they introduced the interpreter, who was Nahash. But the Jews referred to Nahash as a, as a snake. So they entered, they put a snake in the story. There isn't a serpent in the original story. So, anyway... Yes, I believe 100% that Enki and Enoch are the same person, but Enoch is 2000 is introduced as a Jewish redaction of older records concerning only Enoch. I mean, excuse me, concerning only the Sumerian Enki. So yes, you're right and you're kind of you're kind of kind of wrong. That's all right. I forgive you.